So here we have the Reco Power Sabre 300. What we're going to do today is concentrate on the premium grade sliding block blade guides. We have these above and below the table. To adjust the ones above to the correct height, we use the rack and pinion system. So we simply unlock at the bike and then turn the hand wheel up or down to the required height for the depth of the material that you're cutting. To view the ones below, we can simply knock the table insert out, do all the adjustment from below while viewing from above. But what I want to do today is show you this in a lot more detail. So what we've done now is we've actually took the table off the machine or off the bandsaw to open up and so you're able to see the lower and the upper guides. Now the guides themselves are made from premium grade O1 tool steel. Now they're on sliding blocks and obviously the closer you get into the blade without touching it, what this does, it gives the blade support but at the same time it's going to take heat away from the blade. So you've got a general rise and fall for adjusting your upper block which is just the unlock and the rise and fall on there and then on the lower guides we've got a socket head cap screw on there that you can adjust to take the block forward and back. When you've done that the locking screws at the front loosen off and then again we can turn these are all nailed so they're easy to grip and these will take your block in and out as close to the blade as you possibly can. Same above just undo the locking screws and we turn these in and out so it can get as close to the blade without touching it and give the maximum support that's required. The thrust bearings at the back, again on the locking screw, these can be brought forward, just clear of the blade. And same on the lower one at the back, we can bring the guide forward and just get it in support of the blade. Okay, so now we've removed the upper and the lower blade guide system from the machine. The idea behind that is just to give you a bit more insight and show you the workings of it. So you can see the lower one and the upper one. We'll just move the lower one out of the way at the moment, bring the, the upper one into shot. You can see the round bar there. That's obviously located on the rise and fall mechanism and attached by a ratchet handle. And that allows you to take that forward and back to get the correct position for the main block on the different width blades. Once you've done that, you can actually, I'll just rotate that and show you from underneath because we've got a recess mechanism here which sits inside the block that allows us to move that block forward and back. So you get that in the right position before we can lock off with the locking knob and then we repeat that operation on the other side, making sure that's loose turning that in or out to get the right position on the blade. Now these blocks, they've actually been chosen because they're made from premium O1 tool steel, which has been selected for its exceptional ability to dissipate heat far more efficiently than a lot of the ceramic alternatives. Now, this also allows you to adjust each guide to suit the blades that we've got on there, and it's carried out very quickly and very easily when you're doing that. What we've also got there is the, the thrust rod that you can see and again we just loosen off before adjusting forward or back to support the back end of the blade before locking off and that's a bearing on that one on the thrust so we move that out of the way we bring the lower block in very similar in design and features when we're doing that what we've got is a square bar on there now that again allows you to take it forward and back before locking in position. And then you can see while we're in this position here, you've got the thrust rod and we can loosen off and we can adjust the thrust rod for the back edge and you can see the rotation on the bearing on that. And then if we spin it over again, just for you, so you can see that nice and easily, we can loosen off with the locking knobs. The recess on the adjustment takes the block in and out for the correct position before we lock off and then we can do the same on the other side, lock off.